Hello everyone, I'm Trustrook44 and welcome to this Let's Play of Avernum 2. Last episode we happened to get royal clearance, spoke with King Micah, and moved on to explore a bit more of the places that are going on in the area that we started in, because why not? Now, I think we'll take a look to see if we can actually speak with, uh, with Patrick. Let's see here. Cav Eit Bon. I think that m well, I don't know. I think Elpit Ask was actually in for Miller, so one of those two. Hmm. Oh well. Let's see. Uh okay. Something dangerous is nearby, as we remember. Take a look around the outside, because that's how I do things. Actually, is there something out here? There is, but we can't reach it. Suddenly, there are bright flashes of light ahead and behind you. When the smoke clears, you see a gang- What? Really? Come on. But we have clearance. We have the bloody clearance. Okay. Lightning spray, please. Well, that helps. Ow. There. Now we can actually kill these demons, at least. Do you mind... And there's the slowing that we knew was coming. And those are dead. Please stop with that. I do kind of wish I knew where the level 2 of that spell was. Right. Haste directs again so he doesn't have to deal with that anymore. There we are. Okay. And we got it. Okay. You circle around the base of the tower, sticking to the narrow ledge. The tower is made of black, perfectly smooth basalt, topped with a featureless dome. You see no entrances or exits. You know, I thought those demons wouldn't actually show up. When you walk around the narrow ledge surrounding the tower, you feel a brief tingling sensation. When you look around to see where it might, where it might have came, come from, you notice that a door has appeared in the wall next to you. You find intricate golden rooms embedded deep within the stone. They look powerful. There is also a small crown symbol. You know, I thought those demons wouldn't actually show up if we tried to go here with royal clearance, but I guess I was wrong. Can we speak to the cat? We can. A large calico cat is patrolling the tower in a somewhat dispirited manner. It's a very old cat. When you get close, it looks up at you. My name is... Cheeseball. <coughs> <coughs> Hello there. Are you looking for tasty mice? No, human. Mice indeed. I guard this pitiful tower. Oh, sorry. What are you protecting the tower from? Well, someone asked who. There are demons everywhere. Psst. Yeah, demons are a problem. <laughs> demons, lava, soot, lousy food, no lizards to eat. If I wasn't familiar f a familiar for that stupid wizard, I'd probably just jump in some lava and end it all. What's a familiar? Familiar, wizard term. It means magical slave who hates his life. Sure. What do you think of the wizard? His name's Solberg. He talks to me all the time. And I do mean all the time, even when I want to be alone. I'm sick of it. Okay. The tower doesn't seem so bad. I wonder why I bother. Look at this place. Pathetic. <laughs> even the, the best years of my life spent here. No catnip. Nobody ever in heat. Fah! <laughs> Don't you think you should scratch me? Sure. Scratch the cat, and then there you go. It purrs contentedly doesn't thank you. Looks very irritated when you pull your hand away. And I will not comment on the name at all. And that appears to be a portal. I don't know where it goes. We'll find out after we speak with Solberg, who is right there. You meet an aging, highly unkempt man. You think he's wearing mage's robes, but all the stains and tears make it hard to be sure. He seems ecstatic to see you. 
Visitors, wonderful. I am Solberg of the Triad. Welcome to my humble home. May I ask why you are alone in this tower? Well, I am officially a member of the Triad of the Tower of Magi. Now, however, I am exiled to this miserable tower, and boredom is my great enemy. The tower doesn't seem boring. This puny tower has been my home for seven years. That is a lot of time. Oh, seven years is a lot of time. I do my best to keep busy. I do research, read novels I brought from the surface again and again, play with cheese ball. <sighs> Would help if I had visitors. Alas, visiting me is very dangerous. The demons, you know. Who is cheese ball? My loyal cat. He's around somewhere. Can you tell me something about the triad in the Tower of Magi? The Tower of Magi is, following the custom for such to towers in the surface world, run by three mages. Normally, the system works. However, several years ago, we had a disaster. What was the disaster? Lindo was on the triad then. She came up with an insane scheme to capture a demon lord and bind it to her will. She imprisoned anyone who questioned the scheme. I came here and built this tower so that I could repair any damage from a safe distance. Fortunately, the beast was slain. Must have been tricky to get rid of the demon lord. How did you manage it? It's a long story, and I'd rather not get into all that. But then after the demon was slain, I still had to remain here. Why have you remained in this tower so long? The tower is where I must stay. There is a simple reason. If I leave, I will very likely be assassinated. Assassinated? Who would want you dead? Don't think I am being paranoid. Hordes of demons orbit this tower, day and night, waiting for me to leave the safety of my ward so that they may devour me. Would you like to know who their sender was? Are the demons there just to get you? Yes, and there may be some outside now. Be careful wandering around here. It's me they're after, but demons are notoriously non-picky when presented with food. Who would dare kill a member of the Triad? Well, I'll tell you. Forgive me if I'm a bit windy. I so seldom get to talk to people. You see, all the most powerful mages in Avernum, me and Erica and Amy and Patrick, were the colleagues of the, on the surface world. Us and Garzad. What do you think of Erica? Damned foolish woman. She was the one who masterminded Hawthorne's assassination. She brought this mess down on our heads. We weren't ready to face the Empire. We want to see Erica. How could we? He grimaces. Uh, adventures seeking Erica. That's how we got into this mess in the first place. <sighs> Fine. There's an obelisk quest of here. Go read it. It might not make sense to you at first. Remember what it says. Someday it will help you. Hmm. So that's the one. Cavite Bon, I believe it was. Uh, where was it? What do you think of Amy? I haven't seen her in years. She's a recluse now, traveling the plains. In spirit, of course, not in body. What do you think of Patrick? He's still alive, thank the heavens. Won't be for long, I fear. His tower is in the southwest corner of the Great Cave. A more loyal servant our nation couldn't hope for. You knew Garzad? What was he like? Garzad... Poor, foolish, paranoid Garzad. He worked and learned with us, but could never stand the thought that others could have as much power as him. He also was the only one who, had, who developed political connections. And he used those connections. Oh, yes. He used his political connections to do what? He envied us our skill. He thought us a challenge to his aspirations. So he spent his time, he and Hawthorne, getting each of us exiled one after another. He did that and spent years developing protective spells for himself. <sighs> such a bright mind wasted in such petty pursuits. What sort of protective spells did he pursue? Years he spent infusing himself with protective magics down to the marrow of his bones. Fire, cold, poison, hostile magics. I don't think any of them can affect him anymore. Blades? Probably not. And that's why he wants to kill me. I'm one of the few who can strike at his weak point. Ooh, what is Garzad's weak point? Demon blood. Garzad is half mad, I think, in his paranoid desire to protect himself. He left his essence min mingle with the darker powers. Now only magics which can harm demon kind can wound him seriously. I have great skill dealing with demon coin kind, but I am trapped here. Someone else sh must go deal with that scoundrel. How could we harm him? I know of a blade. It is called Demon Slayer. It is hidden in Patrick's Tower. If you were to obtain it, you might be able to harm Garzad. Might, mind you, it's not a sure thing. How could we get to Demon Slayer? I have no idea. The castle, though, would be a good place to start looking for permission to take it. Without it, you might be able to pierce Garzad's defenses, but it would take an awesome effort. Just remember, if it's extra harmful to, for demon, to demons, it can affect him. 
if Demon Slayer is still a great sword, we're still going to have problems and probably not going to use it. Talia, however, will be our ace in the hole. We need to find level uh, level 3 um, Disrupt Undead, or Disrupt whatever it was, because level 3 does do damage to demons. We need to find that. Then, Talia will be able to totally destroy them. And I missed one other thing to be said there. Let's see. Wait, if you're so good at fighting demons, why are you trapped here? You are skilled at fighting goblins, but if you faced enough of them, they would drown you with sheer numbers. A similar fate would greet me if I dared step outside. A fair enough argument. Did you know that there are demons lurking outside this tower? <laughs> yes, I did have some inkling of it. You are a wizard? Can you teach us some spells? Sadly, the spells I know which might be of use to, to those in your line of work are not as powerful as you might desire, but I will try to assist you. Um, eh, grab brine, bind foe. Oh, the only one we need. Can you teach us how to be better wizards? I can, I think. I've learned a few useful things. Perhaps the knowledge might benefit you for a price. Would you teach us, then? Fifteen hundred for improved majory. Hmm. Solbird's instruction will increase the effectiveness of your magic spells. You aren't sure why he's charging money for the training, especially since he's trapped out here. Maybe he's saving up for when he gets out. Eh, handy, but I think we'll save up for, you know, other things. Let's see if we can read this. Ice Lance is level three. I barely ever use it, but sure. This bookshelf is lined with works of fiction, all of them clearly read and reread. This tower must be a very dull place to live. Alright, let's see what's in this portal. And into the portal we go. As I expected, we ended up down here. There is a glass orb on this pedestal. It is filled with a thick, swirling mist. As you stare into it, you think you can see tiny shapes form inside. Peer into the orb. The orb has the power to show you things that are happening far away. As you watch, a brief vision happens. You see the passage in the northeast corner of Fermello, the one leading to Venati lands. Nothing interesting is happening. The vision fades. Is that all? Well, okay then. Let's get out of here. Okay. Kavite Bon, right? Kavite Bon. That's the one. I think there was also one more thing that we can do over here. In here, that is. Leave peacefully. And cure the poison. Yes, if I remember right. Ah, look at that. I was right. We can look over here. Hmm. On a p to a peninsula or something that is completely a dead end. Except for... Grox Peninsula, discovered by the Rist is illegible. We were told to find that, weren't we? Or was it... Uh... Find Grox Peninsula, an adventuring priest in Blosk. Okay, so we need to head back to Blosk. We can do that. Actually, what the hell? We can probably kill those guys. All right, let's kill him. Attack! Eight soldiers, five archers, a mage, and a captain. Yeah, there's a slow. Ooh, I have an idea, actually. Okay. Haste Rex. Ow! Damn, I should have cast it sooner. Alright. Um. Ah, oh, what the hell? I have the time. And that's gonna hurt that horde quite a bit, I think. <laughs> Alright, now. Kills quite a few of them. Yeah, you can get by and get to that guy. 
Ow. Thank you. All right. Well, we killed them all. Took a lot of damage, but we killed them all. Did they drop anything worth it? Steel spear. Nothing really worth it loot-wise, as far as I can tell. Oh, iron studded armor, we can sell that. And toadstools. Those we can use. Don't think we need anything else. You searched a small empire encampment. There isn't much here beyond what you've found on their bodies. Their supply lines must have been cut. The only thing of interest you find is a quiver of bolts left unused because none of them had a crossbow. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose we can sell those. Still no idea what the password for that door up there is. Alright, let's get out of here. No, not that way. Out is over here. Okay then. Row under the bridge. And I am going to make my way to Bloss. I'll cut it while I run. Oh! And we stumbled across something. You meet a group of poor ragged Nephilim foraging for food. They're half starved and they aren't having much luck finding a sustenance. They beg you for scraps and you share a small meal with them. Then, grateful for your help, they stagger onward. It's quite a change from a few years ago when these Nephilim would probably have attacked you on sight. The Empire has done a lot to make enemies friends. Right. Cutting while I run back. Alright, now, we need to find an adventuring priest. I think that's him. Yep, we found Grax Peninsula. It's upriver from Fort Granlon, Justin. Excellent, thank you. I can't go there now, of course. I have a daughter to look after. But someday, I can't pay you much for your help, but I can give you some useful travel tips. He spends a while explaining to you about various useful herbs and potion ingredients. Now, when you walk around outside, you have a chance of finding alchemy ingredients. Yay! Speaking of which, I forgot we actually have some. Oh, those are placid bolts, but we don't need them. Give those to... Talia. And we have some things to sell. Okay, um... Where's the merchant? Not in there. No. Definitely not. Okay, um... Although now that I think about it... Now that I think about it, isn't there someone in one of these cities that we got the key for? Yeah, there was. There was someone in one of these cities that we got a key for. Trying to remember, where was the passage down and which city was it? Though I suppose we can actually sell some stuff here. No, you, you have potions. It's not... Oh, oh, although... Yeah, you could use a couple bomb bombs of life. We need those in order to, you know, come back if we die or something. Okay, sell, sell, and sell. There we go. Actually, we could buy a couple spells now. What spells can we have? Leah. Actually, we could buy Capture Soul and simul Simulacrum or Fire Blast. Arcane summon we can't yet. Actually, we have enough mage spells training that we could. Priest spells for Talia. Talia can get divine warriors. This is perfect. We have enough. Okay. Um, I believe that we can get the priest spells training over here. From you. Uh, teach us some of your magic. Divine Warrior. You know what, we'll get the level one of each, so that we actually have it. There we go. Well, I could get the level two, I don't think I'm going to right now. And my headset is not behaving. I'm not liking this. Ah! Okay. Uh, I gotta get training. The training is... There's a training hall in Bloss. Will you go away? Right. Training hall over here in Bloss. No, I'm not trying to jump off a ledge. I'm trying to learn Mage Spell 16. 
And I believe we can unlock that unlock arcane summon over in uh over in the mage's tower. Ah, Rex leveled up. Ten dexterity, fantastic. Gary, you're fine, and the rest of you are fine. Okay. Now we gotta run back to the mage's tower. I just want to remember, where was that... It was somewhere. No, it wasn't in Blossom, was it? Had to be in Darmon. But where? I know it was somewhere. Was it in Darmon? Maybe it wasn't. Where the hell was it? Patrick's Tower, I think, tells us. I think Patrick's Tower isn't over there. Patrick's Tower is over here. Sorry about that, the bloody phone rang. Anyway, I remember that Patrick's Tower actually said where it was. We need to go up there to it, but... Let's see. No, it wasn't there. It was... No, not there. It was in the southwest, maybe. No, that's not it. Garrison Commander... That's not it. Damn it, where was it? It's not in there. It's not in the northeast. Is it down here? It might be. No, not there. Ow! Damn it! Where the hell was it? Okay, I remember there was something somewhere. Ah, here it is. Thompson is in Blosk. That's where he is. Okay, fine. He is in Blosk. Okay. Uh, okay, up to Blast. I'll find that door. Somewhere in here. Okay, we already did that one. Okay, what did he say? Where is Thompson? We already saw the message, didn't we? Ah, here it is. Uh, Scimitar has a hideaway in Fort Remote. That's where it is. Fort Remote. Okay. Fort Remote is where we're gonna go. And you know what? After that, I am going to, to end the episode. Once we get there, that is, because this episode's gone on long enough. A lot of running around this this episode. A lot of exploring and talking and things like that. But I'm fine with it. Yes, there it is, there it is, way down there. And there it is. Okay. So next episode, we'll find and speak with this Thompson, and probably also find our way to Erica. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I'm Chester44, that is Rex, Gary, Tolly, and Leah. This has been an Avernum 2 Let's Play, and I shall see you all next time.